Sir Stephen Timms. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. The experiences of the Right Honourable Member's constituent are unfortunately far too common. The, uh, the, the assessments disabled people go through often go badly wrong, and the great majority of appeals against refusals succeed. It all causes immense and unnecessary anxiety for disabled people. The Select Committee has recommended that all these assessments should be recorded to help put things right. The assessment providers all support that recommendation. Will the Minister give the House an assurance that he will give that recommendation very serious and sympathetic consideration? Minister. Well, I'm always um, grateful for the opportunity to hear from the Chairman of the Select Committee, and it's um, important to recognise that both myself and the Minister for Employment are set to appear before the committee next week. What I'm not going to do this afternoon is to make specific commitments, but what I can say, and, and I've said this regularly now, including in the many conversations that we've had um, with disabled people and various stakeholders, is that we want to work constructively to get these reforms right. This is the biggest set of welfare reforms yeah, yeah, for over a decade, yeah, and so I am very willing to consider all views about how we can improve these processes. It is, of course, the case that people are able to make um, recordings um, of those assessments at the moment, but we should look at this and uh, I'm very willing to do that and to come back to the committee formally.